Hey everybody, I'm Andy Smith, your hostess with the mostess. I'm a 30 year comic book veteran, having worked for Marvel Comics, DC Comics, Image Comics, Cross Generation, Ominous Press, you name it, I've probably worked for them. And I do other things art wise outside of comics in the field of advertising. I've also written some books on drawing comics you might have seen, uh, drawing American manga superheroes, Drawing Dynamic Comics was my first book. And I also did the handy little How to Draw Superhero sketchbook where all you need is a pencil because you do all the work right inside the book. Enough about that. This is the Book Look series. The Book Look series is where I grab a book off my library. You can see the tons of books I have behind me. And I go through it page by page with you so you can see if it's a book that you might want to buy. I like to know what I want to buy before I buy it, and I feel this is a way to give you some insight into these books. So join me for today's book look. Thanks. Well, hello. Welcome to another book look with me, your host with the most, Andy Smith. I've been drawing comics for 31 years. Started off at DC Comics, actually. Went to Marvel, Image, Acclaim, Valiant, CrossGen. Marvel, DC, Disney, oh, so many. And now I'm doing my own book, First Man, a superhero for a new generation. Super fun, super action, super adventure, all in 64 pages, square bound. Put it on your bookshelf. Go check it out. Link in the description below. Thank you very much. Today we're looking at official Metropolis edition, Amazing World of Superman. Dun, dun, dun. Now this, if you're paying close attention, this is a hardcover. It's a hardcover facsimile edition of the one that came out way back when. Let's see when that was. You open this book up. Here's a nice little card right here that says, Originally published to promote Superman Land, an amazing new theme park in Superman's hometown in Metropolis, Illinois. The amazing world of Superman is all that remains of the lofty dream after the 1973 oil crisis dashed the hopes of Metropolis, DC Comics, and Superman fans alike. Now, I didn't know that, so holy crap, if it wasn't for that oil crisis, we would have got Superman land. Damn! They should still do it. That would probably sell, do really well. Uh, anyhow... Printed here in its original trim size is a beautiful hardcover facsimile. This book collects stories from throughout Superman's history, including his first meeting with President Kennedy, along with a feature on the Superman Broadway musical. At look at how a comic is created and Superman photo album. Woohoo! Goody goody! I love that stuff. Uh, it does kind of stink. This whole book, I'll tell you, is black and white. Nice table of contents. Superman and Superman land. Uh, from fiction to fact, the Superman's, this Superman story was conceived back in the year 1955. So 1955, you can tell by the artwork in the 70s. I don't even think this is Kurt Swan. It might be Wayne Boring. I don't know if it even gives credit. Uh, doesn't give any credit there. So I don't think this even gives credit. Wayne Boring, Kurt Swan. I'm leaning towards Wayne Boring as the artist on this. Uh, I don't mind the grayscale. You know, it would have been nice to see it in color, but they want to do a strict facsimile edition uh, based on the actual book that was soft cover. So I get it, black and white. I do love, uh, I love this storytelling. It's nice, it's simple, it's clear. I love the, the drawing. You know, when I was a kid, I hated the way Superman looked in this Golden Age stuff. But now I just look at it. I can really appreciate it for what it is. Just classic. I mean, it's, you know, it's hard to think that this was modern cutting age comics in 1955. You know, you'd almost want to... You, you'd like to know, well, I guess... You know, when my first book got published from DC Comics in 1991, 
you know, I was like, wow, look at this. It's highfalutin. Look at the paper quality and the coloring and, and stuff. And that was still pretty much flat color on newsprint. And, you know, my daughter looks at comics I did 30 years ago. And she's like, I don't want to look at those. Those look old. And it's like, man, way to nut punch your dad there, little girl. Nice, cool shop, barrel chested Superman. This is definitely would have helped out in color better to see the the blue and stuff against whatever that background is, but that's okay. And that was it for that story. I love this. Obviously, being an artist, how to draw Superman. This is by Kurt Swan. He slouches. He's 5'11", but when he stands up straight like Superman, he gains three inches. I mean, that's pretty freaking cool. You know, he can walk around, any Superman, so he can walk around slouching. And it won't hurt his back like it would if we slouched all day. Now, remember, walk around uh, chest out, shoulders back to uh, to keep in proper alignment. But it's cool. I, I love seeing the basics here of it and the proportions. I love seeing the different heads, the spit curl and stuff. Nice weight distribution here. I think that's really cool. This is cool. I wish this was done bigger. I believe this is drawn by Kurt Swan as well. I would love to have seen both of these bigger. And then how a comic magazine is created. So you see some pencils, lettering, inks, and they don't even show the color plate, but it would be colored. So but this is everything done on the board. So back in the day, after it was penciled, it would be sent to the letterer to do the lettering and then sent to the inker to do the inking. Here we've got Carmine Infantino, who I never met. Nick Cardi, who I have met, he is unfortunately passed on, but Nick Cardi was a great guy. I remember seeing him at Heroes Cons many years in a row. Uh, really fun to talk to, hear stories from the old days. And Julie Schwartz, who I never met either. He was retired when I got in. So we got Denny O'Neill typing up a script. Kurt Swan drawing, and then I wish this was bigger so you could see the detail and stuff. I'd actually love to be able to track this page down. Not the original art, but the book. Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't say. I don't think it says what book they're working on. Yeah, I'd, I wish it said what book they're working on because I'd love to be able to track that down. Just to be able to open it up and, and see the two next to each other maybe it's from the story superman battles the warhorn so it could be that and let's see oh they cut the top usually right up here at the top of the page it says book and then issue number and you write in page number darn it darn it shake my fist at the air alan kupperberg he inked one of my first jobs at dc uh i did uh I filled in and helped out by doing eight or nine pages of an issue of Starman. And uh, Alan Kupperberg inked the stuff. I believe Paul, his brother, was the uh, editor of it. So this is pretty cool. I mean, this gives you a nice insight into how comics are made. You know, some things is, have changed, obviously, with computers and stuff. But a lot of this is still the same. So it's a nice little read. This, now, I've seen this reprinted in color. Uh, this is one of my favorite stories. It's the retelling of Superman's origin drawn by Kurt Swan. I love this shot of Superman right here. I kind of wish, uh, like if this was drawn today, you could almost say, you could almost see DC saying, hey, Kurt, we like the layout. You know, if they saw the pencils first and they say, we're going to kick you some extra money. This is how the company should work. We like the layout and they, you know, looking at pencils. We're going to kick you extra money if you could put the spaceship on its own piece of paper, uh, the exploding planet with the parents on their own piece of paper, and then draw Superman full out because we'd love to use that as clip art on other things. Uh, love that. And this is ink by Murphy Anderson. I just know that from looking at the style and, uh, and whatnot, but it's a classic origin. People laugh at, laugh at uh, Jarrell. How dare they laugh at me? Well, we'll send our son off to have a better life. Screw everybody else. No! 
Oh, kaboom, blows up. I'm trying to remember what this was reprinted in because I know it was reprinted because, like I said, I know I have it in full color. I'm just trying to think what it, where it was. Ugh. I don't remember off the top of my head. But this is, you know, you get, you get some nice comic book stories in here as well. Nice ending shot there. And then they talk about Superman being in the newspaper because he was syndicated for a long time in the newspaper. And there's lots of reprints of those out there. This is talking about the real Metropolis, Illinois. Super, Superman Day proclamation. And I believe people still travel, travel there on Superman Day. So that's pretty cool. Uh, his rogues gallery. I believe all these are drawn by Kurt Swan as well. The secrets of the fortress. Now, of course, we know his fortress has changed from what it used to be. This almost looks more like Batman's cave. But still, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Read this. You know, if you want to tell a Superman story of the Silver Age, which this is the era of Superman, you could read through this and go, all right, we're going to do it. Oh, Kurt Swan Murphy Anderson. There you go. We're going to do his uh, his uh, Fortress of Solitude, and I'm going to pull elements from it and just, you know, update the designs of, like, the machinery and tech and stuff. Or not, you know. Of course, if you didn't know, Superman was a Broadway play. So there you have it. You can tell that guy was wearing some stuff under his suit for his muscles. Important dates in Superman's life. This was from a book where he did meet Kennedy. Um, I'm pretty sure this book got published. Uh, I'm pretty sure it did. I can't remember if they were able to yank it from publication or not. I, yeah. I don't remember, and I call myself a Superman fan. I know. If it was published, it's out of my affordability, I'm sure. And then we get a Superboy story here. I don't think he gives credit for this. This looks like Wally Wood artwork to me. If if Wally, Wally Wood didn't draw it, I think he might have inked it, because that looks like Wally Wood. This does not. I don't know who drew this one. And then just some generic Superman stuff. We got the classic George Reeves. Phyllis Coates as Lois Lane. Jimmy Olsen there. I remember that. I remember watching that episode where he was on Lucille Ball. Not live because uh, I watched his rerun. I'm not that old. Kirk Allen, Superman. And then it ends with this great hero shot that looks like early Kurt Swan to me uh, when he first took on drawing Superman. I mean, Kurt drew Superman for what, 40 years, 30, 40 years. So, of course, the style is going to change, but it has Kurt's proportions and like build that he would give Superman. Love it. Very cool. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this book look. Look, the front and the back are the same. Hope you enjoyed this book look. And yes, it has a giant poster map of Krypton right here. I don't know if the whole thing will fit in screen, but I'll open it. There we go. Giant photo map of Krypton. There it is. You get the, you get the gist right there. So there you go. That is uh, today's book look. I hope you enjoyed it. I thank you for joining me. It was of The Amazing World of Superman, facsimile edition. It's uh, 1999 new, come shrink-wrapped. If you're a Superman fan, you got to have this book. I'm Andy Smith, your host with the most. Please go check out my campaign, First Man, now on Indiegogo. You will not be disappointed. I'll catch you guys next time. Like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Bye, everybody.
Bet First Man 2 now, live on Indiegogo.